Hey everyone, I wanted to check out Valeria Cardenas' performance from the World Games. She was one of the strongest players for a Colombian team that came home with the bronze, only narrowly losing to the US. In this video, I'm going to look at a few key moments from Colombia's semi-final match against the US, and patrons can go now and check out analysis of her zero turnover game against Germany in the bronze medal match. The first notable moment is a catch under pressure, a quick dish off to Manu, who finds Andres Ramirez, and then a great bit of fluid reactive offense, as Valeria stops, plants, and peels off her defender to offer a bounce pass so Ramirez can continue the flow. The flow progresses through Ford and Cantor, who finds Valeria again, and I love this pass she makes here, a low no pivot backhand that finds Cantor again. This pass is all about the disc travelling to the target as slowly as possible. The low release means that the disc takes a longer path to Cantor's breadbasket, but mostly it allows Valeria to put touch on the disc, tilting the disc up so the underside of the disc fights the wind slowing down the flight. This early slow pass to space makes the catch that much easier for Cantor and also lets him catch the disc looking downfield, continuing the attack towards the end zone. Unfortunately there's no option in front of him, but the disc is punched in pretty quickly anyway. Check out how again Valeria is free if this pass doesn't go into the end zone. Valeria actually creates the score by getting so free that El Slam poaches off Cantor to try and obstruct Valeria's wide open cut. Mextroff doesn't choose to make El Slam's poach into a switch by defending Cantor, so Cantor has left a free path to the front cone. And Cantor pops it into the end zone for the start of this game isn't great for Columbia. There's a miscommunication turnover here as Ford fakes then throws the original throw, but Cartena has understandably already turned away. The US call a timeout and then set up a vertical stack. Watchers of the US World Game Scouting Report video will know what's going to happen here. Let me remind you of the US's vertical stack plan. From a slow sideline start, the US consistently wanted to start their offense by taking a swing pass to the dump. We heard Jimmy Mickle ordering this by calling one as he picked up the disc from the sideline. So the first look is to Chastain, and it's probably going to be a swing pass. And it looks like Valeria knows this too. Check out her defensive positioning, her hip positioning, and her eyes clearly on the threat, and that threat is Chastain. From this angle, we can see what Jimmy Mickle is seeing, and it's clear that Cartena knows Jimmy wants to take a swing pass, so she has positioned herself to deny the swing and force the trickier upline throw. Off the initiation, Chastain jukes, earns a step of separation, and already Valeria is sprinting to intercept the disc. Mikkel sends the around backhand, but Valeria gets there first, bats the disc out of play, catches it for good measure, and then casually initiates this flick give and go move, which gets the Colombian offense moving and leads to a score. If the US went 5-1 up here, it could have been a very different game. This clip starts with a classic miscommunication turnover. Gina winds up a swing pass, but Valeria anticipates a fake and the disc goes straight past her. Immediately, Kayla Helton busts deep. Khalif Al Slam picks up the disc and sends a deep shot out in front of Helton, but it's a bit too far. Valeria walks the disc up to the goal line, takes a perfectly weighted scuba to Cartena, who punts it deep for Maria Ferrero. Valeria then sprints the length of the pitch to receive a dish pass from Ferrero and winds up this. Sit back. That's a lot of yards gained. Oh, the scuba. Oh, the champagne ultimate from the Colombians is here. The crowd are loving it. Champagne ultimate indeed. There's a lesson in how excellent Valeria is in transition, forgetting the mistake in this point and capitalizing on the Americans' mistake a few points ago. Teams and players who can tune out the pass and switch into the present as quickly as possible reap the rewards. A little bit more spice, a little bit more fun. The next moment I want to talk about is another turnover for Valeria. She receives the disc on the far side of the field. Simon Ramirez is cutting and he gets pretty free of his initial move and spends some of that freeness turning to make his lateral striking cut easier to throw to. Unfortunately, it leads him into the path of Alejandro Torres who has pushed up to provide a dump option. Conscious that the window to throw to Ramirez is closing, Valeria fires the flick which is out of Ramirez's reach out of Torres's reach and just a little too far for a bidding Cantor. Keeping the width, especially when on the sideline, is so important. Torres could potentially stay wide and backwards here and leave space for Ramirez to use making the throw to him easier. Although Valeria and Colombia played a fantastic game in the semis, the US played better. 
You take away the early nervous turnovers from the Colombians and the game might finish differently, but it's impossible to deny the impact of America's smothering defensive pressure. The last moment I'll leave you with is this blady flick from Valeria to Ford, where Jack Williams makes a heroic play to get the disc first, but gets extremely unlucky with the disc sitting up nicely for Ford to recover for the score. If you want to see not just a great game, but a perfect game, check out the second video where you look at Valeria's zero turnover game against Germany, which is even more dominant. That video is available right now for all patrons, and you could watch it by joining our patron for just $1 a month. Thanks for watching this video, I'll see you all next time.